Hey everybody, it's Gary the Google Guy here with a new update to your Gmail interface and that is going to be underneath the gear icon. When you click on that you will now see quick settings up at the very top and then see all settings. So you still have access to all of your previous settings and all those other tabs but what Google has done is tried to make it a little bit easier for you to customize your view of your screen right off the bat right from here. So let's just walk through this real quick. We have our display density which the default view is going to allow you to see those attachments in your inbox main view here. The comfortable and compact from previous times before where you can snug things up a little bit won't show those attachment chips for you to access from your inbox view. You'll have quick access to your theme now so you can change your theme or your background image wallpaper up here a little bit more often. If you go to view wall it will take you to the settings page where themes is and that will give you the option to add your own personal photos if you'd like to do that. Scrolling down you'll see inbox type. The default is basically like that pancake style as they come in you'll be able to see those stacked on top of each other. There is a customize button and when you click on that this is what's going to pull up that option to add those tabs. Social, promotions, updates and forms but just be aware that you cannot change the name of those tabs or add any additional ones. But it does use Google's AI meaning that it will automatically try to figure out where to put those emails for you but if they miscategorize those you can place those wherever you want with a quick simple drag and drop thereafter. Also underneath that quick settings if we scroll down a little bit more you'll see important first, unread first, starred, priority, and multiple inboxes. Those are the same options that you would see if you went to your inbox label to the left there and when you hovered over it it would give you the little arrow there. It's just replacing it in this area here. I personally favor unread first and when I'm really busy I use the priority inbox. Scrolling down from there you'll have the reading pane meaning you can do like a split screen mode. Maybe what you're used to from some of your other previous email platforms. But just as a quick heads up if we say you know we want this one to be on the right side of the inbox you have to turn the reading pane function on first. So if you would like to do that, you can go to your settings and that will be up at the very top and allow you to turn that on or you can see that it has just reloaded my screen and automatically added that for me. And then I can go to that same gear icon again, scroll down to that same area instead of maybe the right, maybe I want to put this below the inbox view and that will give you that split screen horizontally. Scrolling on down from that you'll see the last little piece there kind of controversial but the conversation view piece. Some people love it, some people don't. If you want to turn it off you can but just keep in mind it is an all or nothing thing and it will separate all threaded emails into a singular form so you can't have some that are going to be in that conversation view and others that are not. So just as a quick couple of heads up there. You also have all of these same things that you can access in your settings. So if you go all the way up to the top and click on see all settings, we can quickly go to our inbox tab and see these same things. You can change up your inbox type, those categories or tabs. There's the reading pane where you can enable or disable. And then you also have some additional things like being able to turn on and off those important markers. But I just wanted to give you that quick heads up on that new piece that's going to be there underneath that gear icon. FYI, if you are not seeing this change already, what you may need to do is go to your Chrome browser, click the three dot icon in the upper right corner of the screen, go to more tools in the menu, and then clear your browsing data, which is going to be your cookies and cached images. So select those bottom two options, click on the time range at the top of all time, click clear data. Now what that will do is it will clear all of the old web page data that it would try to use to load up your pages faster and reset everything to that new interface piece. So hopefully that's giving you some insight on how to get that quick settings piece added to your Gmail screen if you're not already seeing it. So with that everyone, another update to your Gmail interface and until we meet again, this is Gary the Google Guy signing off.